They've never released a character like Estelle. Like, she's weird, but in a good way. You can't just call 911 and say, we're getting too lit up in here. So a quick rundown of her kit before we start. Her Q is an empowered attack that on the second use, it can stun. Her E is a big shield and you can do funny charge with it. W is a little jump, but if you have your shield up, it squirts water, blinding the enemy. And then R is pretty cool. It calls down a big drone strike of water. But if you're in team modes, you can jump on the helicopter and you pretty much shen ult to a teammate. And then passive is also mostly a team modes thing, like increasing healing and revives can't be interrupted. But today we're gonna be focusing on solos. And honestly, she gave me Brigitte from Overwatch vibes. I know that can't just be me. So here's how I got my first win with Estelle and it couldn't have been more rough. It was tough. It was a lot of games of no kills and <laughs> just ratting around till the fed person killed me. But yeah, starting off again was tough. I tried a bunch of different builds, but I died and then I died and then I died. I even tried making my own amp variation, which ended up being doo-doo. Surprisingly enough, the damage that W and the Empowered Q does with Amp does not make up for the lack of auto attack damage. But eventually, I found a full crit build that one of my viewers, Ringo, gave me, and the routing was super clean, and I super liked it. Here it is if you want to give it a go yourself. And even though I was seeing more success with the build, I was still dying and getting pretty tilted, so I booted up a Bonk Magnus game with the new pineapple skin. I'm coming! <laughs> okay, <laughs> fucking Magnus is so dumb. But I boot into another game, and this one actually starts off super promising. OP. And with an early kill, we're able to get an upgrade, we're able to put a little meteor into our headpiece, but the issue, the issue is there's this Bianca in this lobby absolutely popping off, and they become Thanos, and I don't really know how I'm going to deal with this. I try to take Wick, and I don't know how to tell you guys this, but Estelle's Wick take and objective take just in general is probably the worst part of the character. <laughs> her, her objective clear is so bad. Bro, bite off more you can chew with Wick. I've died on Wick like three times today. <laughs> I died one time just to Wick. So after my Wick leash, I continue to follow her a bit and the Bianca that's seven mastery up goes to finish Wick. <laughs> And she had maybe like nine gold items on her body, along with the stuff from Wick. So I was pretty kitted for this final fight. And I did lie to you guys. The way you handle a Bianca is once their alt is down, it's pretty easy to engage. But after that, I'm a little over kitted, also a little overconfident. And here's how the last fight goes. Oh, Estelle's so good. Everyone's been saying Estelle's cracked. It's not that I had four gold items. It's <laughs> this character's OP. This character's OP OP. So after about 13 games, I finally got a win and I took her into some team games and 
I'm gonna be honest, she's a lot more fun in team modes. Being able to jump to your teammate is a type of rush that I haven't felt in this game before. But overall, how do I feel about Estelle? Um, she's okay. She She's kinda clunky at times, but I think she's really fun. I, uh, I like her shield mechanic. It does suck that they pinned her as the character that counters Adriana, though. D don't love that for me. But thank you guys for watching. I super appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.